we've, we've done, we've done I've with got, like I've got nothing. I've got no comeback to that. <laughs> you've, you've stumped me. I've butchered it. There's, look at this. There's still this bug left. You've got to... There you go. You can see all the knives. No. Yeah. At least we get GoTV back. That's, that is Have you thing. noticed our like HUD that. is in face at colours? Yeah. Because that that's, that's how we roll people. That was my idea. Just for the record. It was his, it was his one good idea. I've had lots of other ideas. As you know, he has, in fairness, he has had two good ideas. But most of them. Oh, look at this smoke. Very nice. I want to there. know where it goes. Where are the terrorists? Terrorists. You can see the, the tracer, man. Have you seen that um, video of Bush where he's got like, terrorists, terrorists. He says it about 54 times. I haven't seen that, though. Anyway, Fifth Laren is trying to get a pick here. But it is going to be Forrest to take that fetish. So an early pick here for the tease. I still don't know where that smoke has gone that zip next through earlier. The big threat coming in here for the B push. It is going to be executed right now. And Dignitas are scrambling in. They've lost quite a few players. But AZ, with a quick two taken down with the USP, is certainly going to be helping his team out. As NIP do manage to get themselves on that plant spot. Finally exists. We'll get the bomb down. Great shot onto Dupree. Visceral stuff here with a burst on the Glock. And we do have Device there. 15 health. This is going to be quite difficult for him, and the bomb is ticking away. He's got no kit as well. He's got five health now, and now he's dead. That's all about getting the kills for the money, really. I didn't know that the helmet had a 91 on the side of it. What does that mean? I don't know. I think he's number 91. Interestingly, um, the, we saw Dignus has just play a match, and uh, Zipnix tweeted us afterwards, saying that uh, in the pistol round of the previous match on Dust2, AZ died to a flashbang thrown by Smiths, and we completely missed it, DDK. Hmm. Yeah, but now we know. Now we know, guys. Smith is not just good with an AWP. He's also pretty killer with a flashbang. And we do have a SMG rifle buy here from NIP. Forrest going with the pistol only. Forrest just doesn't give a damn. He's ready to just pop these heads every time now on the, on, when they win the pistol. He's just rolling with the USP. He just somehow finds the USP somewhere. I know he loves that gun. And it's going to be a quick couple trades here as teams do go even. And Dignitas investing... Quite a bit of cash into this round, looking for a big result on the damage. Already two players taken out. Make that three there, Device. Coming in huge with the frags, as he does every game for Dignitas. And the returns back here. The obligatory assist. scout purchase here from AZ. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's quite the possible he's going to get some damage done. They're trying to get the bomb down. And there is a flank. Dupree's coming in from the back very, very quickly. Now he's slowed it down, so he, they don't know exactly where he's coming from. From the back. And this is deadly. Some jump shots. AZ running distraction at the moment as Dupree comes in very slowly on the flank. There's a double flank here from Freiburg. And here he is just coming around the corner and he just snaps the neck there of Exist. Good stuff there from Dignitas, but they are running out of time. They've got to start this defuse soon. And in comes Freiburg. And there he goes. Great round from Dignitas. A lot of money invested and the return is most certainly there. Dupree has 26 kills on his knife. You have like thousands, don't you? 5,100 and so you're something. Looking, are you, you're being all condescending right now, James. I'm a beast. I'm a surf deathmatch beast. Well, I'm, maybe, so I'm, maybe I'm nowhere near as good as at this game as he is. But I'm good at surf deathmatch. But you just do the deathmatch of surf. You just <laughs> you surf, you surf deathmatch is actually completely retarded, I must say. By the way, we are seeing NIP going for the buy, like the, the force buy here. Forcing it up. And uh, exist and get right. Not really with all that much. But Freiburg, Fifflerin, Fifflerin, and Forrest. Fifflerin. You, you know how many people you're making raids right now? Forrest in with a quick entry there. And uh, see the rest of his team can uh, string something off the back of it. Looks like Dignitas with a big stop there onto NIP as they try to make their way into the bomb site. So they try to force it up a little bit, and it's not really working out for them. Only killing a fetish so far. That's it's only like damage like 5,000. I can do a quick little. That. I finally did this calculation, and as soon as get right done. Okay, so I don't know why it took me so long to do this calculation, but when a team wins by elimination, it's something like 3,150 for every, everyone, basically, okay. right? So basically, that what that means is that's like 16k or so for that team when they win around by elimination. So when teams usually go for this, like in a P250 investment to get you know a couple kills, we always say, oh, you know, they want two kills to be okay, right? In those situations, the two kills basically translates to like 10k away from that 16k on that team, basically. Okay, I haven't processed anything you said, but I am quite curious about it. I just think I've had too much coffee. You need to write it down somewhere so we can discuss this. All right, we'll, we'll, dis we'll discuss this later. We'll talk about this in the break. And uh, they are just uh, 
Getting gunned down now as they are going for the Rico. Very proactive uh, little push here from Dignitas to do to uh, find those equaling players of NIP. Not I do around. I do want to understand what you said, but we need, <laughs> yes, no, yes. but we need we need more time. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just want to say that I, we just need more time because that was a lot of information in a very short space of time, and I can't process that. I don't know. I just can't physically do it. But also, we need a we need a Fifleran jar. I can get you some. Every time you say Fifleran, you have to put like 50p in this jar. Oh my god! I'm gonna get a jar. We're gonna put it on a caster desk here, and the guys the, the the guys who make the HLT free, HLTV threads can count how many times you say Fifleran. Then at the end of a the night, you can put respective 50 pences into that jar. And then, once the jar is full, do you know what we'll do with the money? We will spend it on Bison Sand Dash Battle Scarred. We'll just buy the whole market of them. <laughs> okay. And you can have that in your inventory. You can oh fill out God. your inventory so you can't get any good skins. This is... I've thought about this for days. There's a lot of consequences <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> but look at this, finish, finish. Going on for the peak there, does find Get Right. And if they study the demos of NIP, they're probably expecting angles like that from the man Get Right. And so it's a good start there for Dignitas. You know, already picking one off before a strategy comes in. Slowly, uh, NIP are running out of a bit of uh, time there. And Dupree's actually going to get taken down by Fifth Larin. Hey. And so that's a nice trade. And they still do have some time to work onto a plate. That was lucky for Nip because I'm almost saying it wrong now as well. But Fifth Larin, Fifth, Fifth Larin was on in the. Uh, he had the bomb, but he was on his own. So if he dropped the bomb there, then that would have been pretty much the end of the round for Nip. And they are going to go in. Remember the HE grenades. Big tag on this new update. Freiburg, sick entry there onto the device. In comes Zipnix though, onto the return frags. The smokes are there, but they do nothing. So Florin back with a kill onto AZ. But can he save this round? They've got 20 seconds left to get this bomb down. Looks like it's going to get planted there by Forrest. So nice potential setup here. In the remaining seconds of this round, Forrest does find himself to kill, but there is a return onto Fifth Laurent by Zipnix. Can he remove Forrest? Two points of health, only two. Going for the spray through the smoke. Can't find a single bullet to connect to Forrest. Looking around the corner, he's looking for that fake now. He's going to finally get him, but did Forrest kill enough time? He did not. And the round is saved by Zipnix as Dignitas pick up one more. And there's the AWP. Boom. <laughs> Very nice. Boom. So we're going to see another buy. Now they got the plant down. This is, again, this is a, at the moment, we think this is a uh, very, well, considerably CT-sided, I'll say. I won't go as far as to say it's very, but I will say considerably, uh, which is a bit more ambiguous. Because, um, again, when the T's push a site, they're pretty much stuck on that site, um, unless they retain control of uh, the mid-squeaky door area. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you generally do commit to a site here. You don't really have, end up with enough time <laughs> to push another one. Alright, uh, looks like they are actually going to bust out the door there. Freiburg with a quick couple of frags. Going to open up the B potential here. Already either side. I mean, you can see they're kind of floating around mid, waiting for the picks to give them an option to push towards a certain area. And it looks like they are going to go down the stairs. But uh, the flank could be real. So we've got. Um, Device is so close there. Coming in from the back, exist. We'll find him. And very unfortunate there. Good stuff from exist. And that A play soon to execute. That's going to be a bank smoke, I guess. Playing for the fake, oh, but there are no the there fake. are no CTs to uh, to bait. They are waiting for the B push. Already problems here, but the reaction does come in from NIP as they do find themselves the entries after all. You can see there was a slight hesitation there around the AWP. Do we pick up the AWP? Decided against it. They want the versatility of the AKs, allowing them to engage multiple enemies, get the spray downs, etc. Lots of close quarters corners in this map, so uh, Nip favouring the AKs over the AWP right now. We have to talk about the... I think... Well, I don't know if we'll have time right now. We can save it for an eco, but we've got to talk a little bit about the update and how it affects this map and, and generally yeah, know, this the is kinds a really of impacts important it can update. have. I, think it, I actually think that potentially it affects this map quite a lot, but we'll go into that in a moment. Again, get right in one of his usual kind of areas where he takes multiple positions to try to find off I uh, find a pick, and you can see it there. Now it's all smoky mouth. Ooh. Almost finding the damage, but not quite. As NIP still have a lot of time to work with on this round to see what else they can they can pick off here. It's very important to see if they can get picks, as the, the response the the rotation time is very very quick between the sites. Yeah, look how look how slow the push is here from the terrorist. Again, you've got three of them staying back and exist as a front man going towards the A bomb site, but they're just being very very patient, waiting for potential pushes from the CTs here. So, uh, and, and you can see the setup around the sewers 
from the CTs. They've got both of those covered as well. So this is very difficult for the uh, for the T side. You've got the fake coming in from get right here. But again, look, it's 40 seconds left, and they still were nowhere near pushing a site. Get right about to be surprised. Very easy kill for Rosie there. Waited a long time for that, and the patience certainly yielded a re very nice reward as they are thrown in the nades towards that A bomb site, and the real push commences. MIP now, can they get these frags? Can they get the entry? There is smoke absolutely everywhere, and it is Dupree to get taken down on the site itself very, very quickly. Great Molotov there from MIP. They have done their homework, running a mock behind the smoke as the bomb does get planted, fanning out hit. As we do see Dignitas all arriving from the CT spawn side, but actually it seems to be that they are dispersing somewhat now. Going for the save on those weapons, and uh, if we do a quick check of the money, we'll be able to see exactly the kind of situation they're facing at the moment. Certainly a very dire one, but not just for them. I mean, we can see the NIP are, have still yet to really secure economic control. Indeed. And I just want to point out how long it took NIP to push a site there. To, to give you an example of, of the kind of way this map is balanced at the moment, there were like 13 seconds on the clock when they planted the bomb. So again, what, as we mentioned earlier, um, you know, I think it was LDLC actually who were one of the more, unsur unsurprisingly LDLC who were one of the more interesting uh, teams to watch on this map. The way um, they they were aggressive and then passive on the CT side, I think it was when they played this. So I think I think they might be a little bit ahead on the tactic side of things here. And uh, again, now now we're seeing an aggressive push here from uh, Team Dignitas, but they do have Dupree only with a Deagle, so they're probably looking for an early pick here. But uh, it might not be. So he's going to try and find a head to pop. We'll see if he manages to connect. So Dignitas. Not with the most aggressive of positions. They do have device all the way on the outside. But so far they've spotted nothing. NIP really taking their time, being methodical as, as usual. Trying to make sure they don't get surprised. And I certainly think there is a, more of an advantage now for the CTs to have aggressive setups. If, you know, as, as soon as they have the position. Getting the position, obviously, might not always be so easy. But once nice they have it... To blow off the door. But it does make life easier for the T's because now they can just push through it. But I think there is a boost here. Is that Zipnix who was up there? Just having a little peek. But again, the clock is running down here for the T's. 40 seconds do remain. And it looks like it is going to be a full B push on this occasion. AZ in a nice position to take out Freiburg and get the bomb down, which is going to allow his teammates to rotate. He does get Forrest as well. Can he get the third, though? It's going to be Exist, and he brings him down as well. Now it's going to be Get Right. Lots of 1v1s here for AZ. And uh, that's going to be a clean, uh, well, not a clean, but a solid run there from Team Dignitas. Only one player falling. Won't manage to recover that uh, rifle. So Dupree, still with a Deagle, is going to have to spend some money, splash the cash, if he wants to get that rifle. But uh, it looks like he may be continuing with a Deagle for the time being. They've really got to watch out for AZ. He's not just once now, but I think there's two times he's really heavily caught them off guard in the key area towards the B approach. I mean, he's often lurking around there. And we saw last round, Dignitas were very reluctant to go for an aggressive play. They, they held back, they didn't try to peek. It's like this round they want to try to get a bit aggressive here with Dupree down the middle. I wonder if they were expecting the Yuko there. But uh, he's kind of up there on his own and Forrest will come in to save the day. And uh, Dupree was dropped to rifle by one of his teammates. So he wasn't just uh, rolling with the Deagle in uh, that position. And Speaking of the Deagle, we do have a Juan Deag emoticon in our chat now so you can do facey one with a capital j and uh have a look at that goodness and we have got uh one man down here for dignitas on the ct side so it's just going to be difficult to hold both bomb sites so nip with uh, a good opportunity to do something here az with a similar jump to what you see on cash just keeping an eye on things but he could get caught jumping by the guy in the connector but we are going to see the nip um push coming onto the a bomb site now counter grenade there from zipnix once again, though, the smoke is covered. The, the site is covered in smoke as they do make their way in behind. Just a pixel of a head spotted there by Zipnix. And the forest falls back, but Zipnix with some shots through the smoke will connect with his head as Dignitas do make their way in. So 2 and 2 now. In comes Fetish from the back up the stairs. That's all on get right. As it has been so many times, does take down the first player, but he lost a significant chunk of health, and there's just not the time. Fetish. We'll secure the round there for Dignitas as they go 6-3. to three. So a good result from uh, Dignitas so far. Uh, certainly a map that is considered quite CT-sided. Yeah, I think uh, Nip are doing 
are not doing too bad either mm -hmm. to get uh, one third of the rounds onto the board so far. And we're going to have the AWP coming out for Dignitas again. This time it's going to be on a different player. So uh, we'll see. Again, we've got um, the CTs changing up their positions here, trying to be unexpected, going for more aggressive plays this time. And we have two players from Nippon connected this time while they're on the eco only get right with uh, an, a Galil in the, his house. Galil. <laughs> Galil. Already a losing Freiburg there as well. So not the most amazing start for their little train of P250s, but let's see if the Galil can come into play. Like they will manage to get down Dupree. They're actually opening up a potential plant here. If they can get rid of the uh, device on the bomb side itself, they might get themselves a plant. Switching to the USP will deny them that kind of key timing. So, very well done by him as the rotation comes into play. And now NIP are kind of str just struggling behind the smoke Ooh. device. Saved by the bollard. You don't say that every day. And does get right to Galil. Able to make one kill. If they can get some more econ economic damage, that'd be fantastic. He has 30 seconds to play with, so he can be creative with this. He's got about the same money as his teammate, so it's worth him just going to try and do as much damage to Dignitas as possible. Doesn't matter oh, if he dies, nice. as long as it's after, uh, before the time runs out, sorry. But looks like he is going to save after all and keep that galol. That is very well done by Get right there. Just He, get, he got that kill and he's like, alright. That's, I don't think I'm going to do all that much more damage. Actually, going to run straight oh. in again. Oh my goodness. He oh, he went, he went for the mega fake. That was, no way. I thought he was just going to go and save the... Wow, well, get, get right is just too smart for us, man. I'm telling you, he's been doing some amazing uh, small plays in clutch situations. Like when we were on Inferno last week, um, the, he was a CT, I believe, and uh, the T's had planted a bomb on A, and they were hiding in that corner where, where you go to uh, survive the bomb plant. It's the oh, only yeah, place yeah. you can survive it. And the bomb was about to go off, and he threw a Molotov on three guys there, and they had to run away because the Molotov was going to burn them to death, and then they got blown up by the bomb. It was genius. Absolute genius. Very expensive for them. And those small things are why, uh, what make him who he is, and so crucial to this NIP team. And we do have Get Right with the AWP now. Yeah, he doesn't always pull it out, but when he does, it is certainly fantastic. There's a number one. And the grenade is going to hit him straight in the face and fetish with that very effective spam through the smoke. And goes to Florian, but he is going to get taken down as well. Dignitas are holding well onto these tunnels. There's fetish. He's going to get one more fetish. Wow, four kills. Sit next. Going through the smoke, and uh, Fetish might just still have time to find his, his ace, but AZ will take the last kill, and they locked those tunnels down. Yeah, this is looking very difficult for the CTs, and I wonder if it's um, if we'll see future changes to the B-bomb site, because it looks, you know, you do have that kind of connector area, but um, it, mm. it looks... It looks uh, quite difficult for Nip to get through to that site. And you can see, generally speaking, you can see they've just put three people upstairs. I was going to say, you only have, uh, you can see Nip are only putting Get Right down here in a lurker position, and the rest of the guys um, go upstairs because there's only so much you can do in a, a narrow area such as a sewer. And they're going to get cut down here on the, um, on the eco round. There's only two of them remaining. We'll see if they can get the bomb down for Flaren with an uh, aggressive position here. You may get a flank on one of the CTs, but they are backing off to back towards the A bomb site. So, uh, I'm not sure if they've seen the bomb now exist in the party area. I'm going to uh, inspect him some balloons. We will find an AWP. Let's see who takes that who first. That's the bomb down. That's the end of the round. So, 9 3 is certainly starting to look really good for Dignitas. Of course, once you get to that 10, you're, you're quite, quite happy. You know, it's like you've done what you expect. But it's to 9 3 do. DDK. Yeah, they could go much further than that. So yeah, but now it's nine three. I, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It's nine three. Did you I care? didn't say we were looking it's at nine three. All right, James, you you clearly. You I clearly haven't forgotten what you did to me yeah, last yeah, week, you've, you've buddy. Been, you've been thinking about that, friend. When you go to sleep at night, it haunts you, Does, <laughs> doesn't it, James? Mm. There's awkward silences. I leave sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, all the time. <laughs> all right, well, back into the round now. It seems like get right a little bit more. About Look at this, this positioning uh, from this the CTs. Finding. They've got two people in a long area this time. Again, just mixing it up. NIP are being much more kind of careful as well. They've, they've actually been outpicked in a few rounds. Ooh, the wall bangs. The wall bangs. Oh, so strong. Freiburg, 22 health now. Out of there. But look, look how this is playing out with the two CTs in this area. 
It's like the best circle I've ever drawn with this wireless mouse. And Exist's going to come for the huge flank here. Going to try and shoot uh, someone in the ass right now. But this is also, Dupree's also flanking Freiburg as well with the bomb. This is All the madness. flanks, all the time. Dupree does manage to find Freiburg. Exist gets Dupree though. But there is the vice. He does take down Exist. And that's a four versus two advantage. Really huge stuff here for Dignitas. They know what the bomb is. They just saw the bomb. And you can see them kind of rotating a little bit. Get right is really going to be the player who could save this round for them. He's the one they don't know about. Let's see if he's able to find something. They did just spot him. He does get tagged. All coming into play here. Get right can't quite connect the bullets. And he does go down to finish. Big problems now. It all rests on Forrest to save Time. this round. He must plant. He has to plant now. There it is. He gets it. Bomb is down. In goes the smoke. Forest against four players with that bomb ticking away. Trying to juke and jive, but it's going to be Device who lops off his head. And a nice round there from Dignitas. Absolute madness with all the flanks from both teams. Beautiful stuff. The question is, how many rounds do the terrorist side need to have the opportunity to mount a defense on the CT side? This five. is, again, this is like uh, five. You think five? I'd, I'd say five, yeah. I'd say at least five. At least five. I mean, that gives you something to work with. We've got Forrest with the AWP now. And I, I wonder, in terms of changes to potential yes. changes to the B-bomb site, the sewer tunnel with the, with the mouth, I wonder if it's worth having something that goes over that like they used to, because it seems a bit too lopsided at the moment. I mean, previously, when this map was first released, you just saw mad rushes. Um, just like, like the terrorist strat was rush B, but now it oh. seems a bit too difficult. Hold that thought. I mean... NIP coming in with some strong advances, taking down two players, Dignitas, bit off more than they could chew, and Freiburg leads the charge, first man in to this A bomb site. It's gonna be the frag onto Zipniks. There's one more coming though, finishes up those stairs real fast. Great, Bombs great down. catch up the bomb up. AZ could just be saving this round. Look at the bomb, it's so far away. AZ gonna get taken down though. And it looks like that round just cannot be recovered despite dropping the bomber and another round. Have it's you ever up. bitten off more than you can chew? Like literally? Yeah. What times. food was it? Uh, I think it was probably probably chicken. I find it most happens with like lamb. Yeah, some, it's, quite, it's a lot tougher, easy. isn't it, than chicken? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Let's face it, it's tougher than chicken. I think that's what we have to take away from this, DDK. Lamb is, that lamb is tougher than chicken. Than chicken. I know. All right, back to the match. All right, well. It's the last round here on the first half. NIP need this very, very badly. To say the least, here comes AZ though on the defense. They're trying to go for a hard-hitting, fast-hitting play. But so far, they are getting denied into the site. And Dignitas take a pick for free and they fall back. Look at this, they're in such a good position. NIP trying to do what they can at the moment with the time on the clock. Trying to get some, uh, you know, soften up some CTs, get some information on the positions, but so far, Dignitas are not yielding anything. Look at Fiflaren on the radar. He's been in that position at the very bottom of the map all round. So I think he's uh, trying to stop flanks from three different places to keep options open for his team. You can see now Get Right Sir joined up with him, and they are going to run around back towards the B bomb site, but the CTs are stacked very passively in this previous round, trying to avoid any shenanigans from the T's here. And they do have a one man advantage to Team Dignitas as we see a 2-2 two -two split here from the T's to try and open up this round. All right, interesting stuff here. They're actually going to fake that A site. Uh, we'll have to see if NIP can pull, pull it off. I mean, right now... 30 seconds left, it's and look where the bomb is. It's, it's going to be so interesting to see how this plays out. And they have started the move through to the tunnels for that B play, and there it is. They are splitting off Freiburg into... That B advanced, but already one player picked off. They've spotted the bomb now. It's dropped in the tunnel. Freiburg against five. Does take down the first one. Fetish falls to the ground. Freiburg can't quite manage it though. 11 to 4. Big scoreline there for Team Dignitas. Although, I would, I mean, I, th I think it's more or less like a 10 5 CT map, but at the same time, it's still very dangerous. I mean, NIP, they've got to get past that pit. They've got to take it round for round at this point. After the pistol round is, is won, hopefully for them, you know, they can start really getting, you know, sinking their teeth into the match. But until that point, it's, it's going to be really, really tough. And if they lose it, then is it even worth thinking about that? Train, I believe, was removed from active rotation because it was heavily CT sided. And I do wonder if you know, long term, this map is going to be like this, at least in its current iteration. The new changes, the tagging does make things more CT sided generally as well. Mm. So that's also something to... to Minus overpass plus C side. What? 
Minus overpass plus seaside. Yes. Have you played seaside? No. no it's, a pop it's a popular map. All right, well, it's the all important pistol around here. We're seeing the movement towards A, and so far, nothing has been spotted here for Dignitas. House. Oh, they're going to find some info soon, Nip, but it may be too late if uh, this goes away for Dignitas. House. They are going to have four people versus two on this A bomb site as they push in. Now, have Fifth Flaren getting the first frag on AZ, and Dupree does get the trade frag. Fifth Flaren going down, and we do have the quick rotation from the CTs. Forest going down as well, so. Uh, the T's do have control of the site now, but it is three versus three, and the bomb isn't down just yet. When Fetish plants, they're going to be at a one-man advantage because he won't have a gun in his hand. He will plant behind the smoke, though. And there you go. And it seems like an awful case of can't stop the Glocks, but get right, and Freiber going to try. In they go. P2000 tapping away, going to find Dupree as we have Zitnix left with his Glock to save the round. And so that defuse is coming in. There's nothing he can do. And NIP managed although they lose the site quickly to get the retake, keep alive with three players, and win the round. And now there is hope. Now there is a future for NIP in this match against Dignitas. That's, that's, uh, a, that was a very fast rotation from Nip. They suddenly just emerged from all those stairs behind the site and uh, got, got the numbers in to retake the site and win that crucial round. So again, yeah, as long as they don't get ecoed here, then... Uh, we may see a close match. So they're trying to brute force their way through at the moment, but it's just uh, all for nothing. But that's okay. I mean, they got the bomb down. They wanted to get that round out of the way. Now comes the buy. Dignitas are scary at the moment. How are NIP going to handle this? Are they going to try to play aggressively? I, I'd wager that they're going to go quite defensive in this round. Fifi's got the AWP. Careful, DDK. Don't have the jar yet, but I am keeping notes. All right. So far, I'm good. <laughs> so far, I'm good. Apart from the time I said it before. Yeah. Before you we'll, we'll let you off that one. All right. We gave you. You got warning. Like a warning shot. Mm. All right. Well, it does appear to be quite the defensive round so far for NIP. It could be fetish though to tease and test and perhaps spot someone jumping over. Uh, it could be Fry, which is a uh, Freiburg. But uh, so far, they haven't really spotted anything. They're not going too aggressive on those peaking angles. Teams are pretty good at you know, knowing all those little spots now. So it's a bit more look dangerous how, these days. Look how passive Nip are playing. Just look at the radar on the top left. Yep. They do not have any map control. All they care about is the bomb sites. They're playing for the uh, quick rotations, as we saw in the previous round. So they're just letting Dignitas take huge swathes of the map here. And we're going to see Get Right. Oh, well, he was one spot. Potentially jumping around. He, to, uh, he might have seen him. I think he may have seen Fetish there, but they don't actually want to give away. It doesn't matter if he star it did because you can see they probably did see him and they're preparing for the B push, but it's going to be an A push. And then it comes Dupree, first man through the smoke, wrapping around the side, finds the head of Forrest and Fifth Lauren. They both fall to the ground cold as Dupree goes down the stairs. There's number three and already an IP before the bomb was even planted. Lost three members. Finally returned from Exist, but AZ takes down Freiburg, and Exist has no friends left in the living world at the moment. And it's certainly I don't a think that was winning situation. Either. Well, that's fine because I'm not taking a drink from it. I wasn't planning to anyway. Well, I think um, Exist is right now. No, he's not. He's got. His, uh, he's doing the. His, he, that was like an invisible Lilo. He's, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine, guys. He's, he's fine. fine. He'll be back in a minute. 12-6 in favour of Team Dignitas. Just look at who's getting the kills here on both teams. And Freiburg has got 16 kills for his team. He's beasting for Nip at the moment. And the rest yet to reach double figures. Let's see if they can do it in this round. All right, well. B-sided play perhaps to come in now. They're going to have to try to not lose anybody through the, uh, before they attempt to move through the choke points. This was certainly the, the problem for NIP on the T side, and they do have a flank coming in as well. So the timer is on NIP right now, they, uh, on Dignitas right now. They need to get this play into the site, but actually Fifth Lauren gets caught, and now it's looking fantastic for Dignitas, but still, Freiburg on the site will drop the vice. Number two coming in as well. That spray, always good from Freiburg. As there is Dupree now, trying to find his one-on-one. -on -one. He does get it, but Forrest in the back. Going to find the rounds there for NIP. They are pulling things back together. That is um, a round for NIP, but it had one man survive. And look at the money on NIP. They've got 
kind of 3600, 3300 in the bank. They're going to have to go for a mixed buy here. We've got Get Right with the Mag 7. That's not something you see normally see him playing with. It's more of a JW NBK style gun. But uh, the same can be said for the T side as well. They've gone for the fourth buy here with two CZs, which could be um, useful for them in these close quarters should they play the right areas. But uh, Nip possibly expecting the Eco may choose to... Um, Put maximum range between themselves and the tees. AZ, one of the guys with a gun, it's going to get dinked to 10 HP and he's going to be stuck there unless one of his teammates come and help him. Forrest is going to take him out before any uh, cavalry can come and Dupree will be soon to call afterwards. There we go. Device with a quick double. That guy is a fragging machine. And it's a three on three now as the bomb is almost at the A bomb site. It has gone largely undetected here, it would seem. As there is. No sight, no hint, no no hair of anybody from the CT side on that bomb site, and he's just exploring everything fully. Zipnix completely undetected, as Fetish is here to try to find a oh, weapon. Look at all those juicy guns! Oh, manages to find the back of Freiburg's head with a CZ, and he might just run into. He's going to go and run distraction now on a B bomb site, while his teammate. Oh, he's going to meet him there, in fact. And there's exist. Zipnix has seen pretty much all of the map at this point. He goes for the drop into the B site. This round is still certainly doable for NIP. They don't have a kit though. Got to move fast. Bomb getting planted there. Exist is able to find Fetish. And Zetnix gets dinked from range as he has to fall back now. This is so difficult for him, but he manages to spray down Exist. Just has to find the head of Get Right. Get Right is ready for this though. In goes the flash. Zetnix falling back. Smart play from the man. Trying to give himself some opportunities here. Gonna go for the kill, can't find the head in time. Get right. Secures around there for NIP. Oh, does he? Or do actually he doesn't have a kill. I forgot. He wasted a it's lot of time. Be close. He's got this. He's got it. He's got this! And Ooh. there it is, the defuse. Sick save there from Get Right. And uh Zipnix, he he played really, really well. Um did decide to go in for the kill there instead of killing another few seconds, so probably a play that he felt like he had to make, but that well, was close, perhaps man. Perhaps he could have delayed more. That was close. I was wincing. I was almost in pain there. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, we've got the force by from Dignitas now with uh, a Deagle and a CZ for Dupree and Fetish respectively. Two Gilles, one AK. AZ is going to have to go huge and rip heads with that thing. R ripping heads is what he does. It's his day job. It's his breakfast. All right. So Forrest on an aggressive peak there from the side. Let's see if he's able to find much. And Fetish emerges. Does get taken down by Freiburg. To see if Dignitas are able to get much in response. That's a nice response. They do find the aggressive position of Forest. You can see the, the, the CTs are moving back to more passive positions now following that frag. Except Fifth Lauren, who seem to be found by Dignitas, cleansing the map of CTs at the moment. And uh, they do have a single man advantage. So lots of options for them now. They can just hit one site straight up. They've got 50 seconds still to the side. They've got a lot of grenades left. This should be Dame Tass's round. This is going to take very strong individual performance from the players of NIP. Such tentative pushes from both T sides here. Very, very careful about every single step here as they tease the A bomb site. That fire going to make them change their minds. And they are going to go back. But we'll see if this, uh, these rotation killers can get the job done. Exists. I can only get one man, though. And they are seem to get the bomb down on top of that site, but Freiburg and Get Right assuredly have something to say about it. The is going to make the kill, make, uh, make the plant, make the peak, makes the kill, and we do have Get Right coming in now from the back in a one on two. He does have a kit, so he's got more time to play with it. Can't find the frag though. There was a good movement from Get Right. Did find the one on one, which is the way to do it. But it uh, looks like we are going to have a pause here. Very uh, intense match between these two teams. Every time NIP are about to be out of the match, they just manage to uh, sneak on in again. And we're seeing them up against the ropes once again. Let's have a look at the money here for Nip. They, it's Dignitas are 13 rounds up at the moment, and we've seen that this is a CT-sided map. However, Nip haven't been able to get their economy going, and you can see they've got th uh, two players, three players basically, on 1,400 here. Now, if they bought in this situation, they're probably going to lose, and then that, that's pretty much the game over. They have to eco here, which means Dignitas are going to be on 14 rounds. We do have overtime in the face at league. It is MR5, so it is an option for NIP. 
But um, this is a difficult situation indeed for NIP. And again, let's have a look at the kills now. So uh, Freiburg, last time we checked, he's on 60. Now he's on 22 kills. Exists in Forest, passing that uh, 10 kill barrier. So Get right in for Flaren, not there just yet. One quick point to add with the money is that even if they eco, I believe they won the previous round with the... Uh, they did, right? Did they win the previous round? I have no idea. I it's all, a, ha it's all I a haze now. I okay, let's, uh, let's say they, uh, they either won the previous round or lost it. So we'll give them one or two. Let's like work out the money for like one round loss or two round loss. So one round loss is fourteen hundred bucks if they lose this one, right? So even if they, so so if that's the case and they won the last one, then boom, they still they still have to eco. They still don't have enough money, or they just force it up, which is uh, quite possible. So they're, they're actually looking at at ecoing twice here if they want a real buy. They can't. Or, they or, can't though. Surely they have to force it. Surely and it's not. A terrible buy. Indeed, I think so, we're going to yeah. see the terrible buy here. But um, I mean, who knows? Well, they can't really even afford to buy. Yeah, easy. So the way the way I the way I feel about this, I'm kind of getting a bit pissed off to be honest with all this DDoS nonsense. Like, if we don't, we will never know how this uh, match will have finished with AZ playing now. And if it doesn't go Dignitas' way, or even if it does, it's kind of this isn't pure, the pure Counter Strike that we tune in to watch. So uh, it breaks up if, the mental. Exactly. The so if well. you're you know, for the people who, who are doing this, I don't know why you watched this game in the first place. But anyway, we're going to continue as things are. Nip are going to be on the eco. And again, because of the money here, we've only got Get Right with a P250 and Freiburg with a uh, 5.7. So not even not even Forrest, the pistol master, is going to have a, a gun other than his default USPS here. And it is going to be Fetish once again, who's the man just with the CZ. Living dangerously. I think he likes it. All right. Well, it's very tentative. They know they're up against an eco, so they just... Trying to keep it real right now, just not allowing themselves to get caught out. Yeah, in the words of uh, Henry G, it looks like the buddy system is in play here. Ooh, James Bond. Pew pew on the fetish's head. Comes to spray down, but that is that is uh, some damage done. And uh, NIP, anything else they can get. Obviously, I guess the ideal for them would be to like, actually get a kill, like isolate a player, get a kill, save a weapon. That would be amazing. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't look like that really has much likelihood of happening. And, uh, Freiburg, see, he's going for those deliberate close ranges because it's, it might be one shot death from that range with a 5.7. Oh, he does take down once and picks himself up an AK. He's not got any health nor any armor, but he's Freiburg. And he has a forest with him as well. Bomb is taken away, but what damage can they inflict before it's all over? That's a wrap. Save the AK. Nice. That is what we were looking for. So good stuff there from NIP. Freiburg should, uh, should be able to survive the, the bomb blast. Yeah, he should be fine. He's made a, a uh, fair way. Ah, uh, he's fine. Do you play Unreal Tournament? I used to, I, I did for remember, a time. Do you remember the Redeemer, right? So when the Redeemer goes off, you see like visually like the blast radius as it expands. That would be cool to, if we could actually have like a visualization of it. As, like All I remember is a guy in a monk outfit. The guy in the monk outfit? What was his name? Because he's like the main character or something, wasn't he? Are you talking about Zyro from Quake 3? Uh, maybe. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> so Dignitas really with well. 14 rounds here. Oh no, Nip James. with three famasses, but they do have an AK here on Get Right. The man himself, Kaiser Sose, in the his house. I've got to stop saying his house. Doesn't suit me. It's unbecoming. It's quite. It's quite unseemly. Yeah, too much. Too much uh, Snoop Dogg. Oh. On my MP3 player. Can Sorry. never have too much. Too much Snoop. Mm. The tunnel is uh, full of smoke. And Dignitas slowly trying to make their way into some positions. Oh, that's a nice catch from Zipnix. Lots of damage done to Freiburg. Does close the door. Very polite there from Zipnix. It may not seem like much, but they are softening them up here. That's, that's a pretty pretty nice amount of damage to Freiburg. For those and of you unfamiliar, you can also boost th in this window. You can boost in front of that window and shoot through it, which is why Zipnix is just going for the one-man jump. Because he's got no friends in this little cubby hole. We'll get the flash out, though, but that's not going to be quite the pop flash. People will see that coming. Trying to soften them up even more, and this is working out quite well for them. It's also like uh, Dignitas are readying up for the A push here. A lot of distraction towards B so far. But the push surely soon to come in here on the A site. And our NIP ready for this. He got Fifth Lauren on the back. He's got Forrest to support him as well. There's the first angle. Ooh, wow, Fifth Lauren goes down straight away. Get right does get the return frag, but onto Zipnix. In comes Freiburg. Got to hold this tight, and he will. Freiburg saves the round at the end. For his team, as we see NIP taking it again, there have I can't even keep counting the amount of rounds where NIP were basically in this situation. If we don't lose this round, we, if we don't win this round, we we are 
Done it. We done us? Gone it. Gone us. Done us. Gone us. Done us. Done us. Done and gone. Done and gone. You fan of fan of Donner Kebab? Not really. Shout actually. out to, to Done and Gone. He won the <laughs> Deagle Blaze, didn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out go. to Done and Gone. <laughs> At least he claimed his prize. It's a shame he didn't win the M9 bayonet. Now someone else is going to win it. Oh, Fetish might find himself the one on one. He sees the nade go in, goes for the shot, and he actually gets get right dead. So. Very early pick here from Dignitas, but that could very well unravel things slowly but surely. There is more players from NIP going down. If Freiburg to lose his life. Slipnix and Fetish are quite low though. But this is... Dignitas have everything they want right now. Two-man advantage. They can do anything. They have a minute on the clock as well. So uh, a lot of time here. They've been aggressive early and it's paying off for them in space. They are one round away from match point. Only need two rounds to close out this map here as we do approach the top of the hour. One flash there as both teams aren't listening. So, so tentative at the moment as we do see the information play from Exist. He's going to be walking around B. That's going to pretty much eliminate the possibility. Not entirely, but mostly they can make the gamble towards A now that Exist is so far pushed. And Exist might actually find the frag onto de uh, onto uh, device in the back. But in comes the rush onto the A site. So it looks like uh, Exist actually goes down. They're taking the bomb to B. It was a fake all along. Uh, there it is. Fifth Lauren takes a kill and has to quickly rotate. And it's going to be a nice frag there from Forrest. But he's got no support. He's out in the open. And in comes Fifth Lauren. Has to clutch this. It's a, cl a clutch or kick situation right now. As NIP is so close to losing. And he will go down. People always say it to me when I'm the last man left. They're like, clutch or kick? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I say it in matchmaking and all sorts. Basic pugs right. everywhere. Well, that's it. Their money is absolutely screwed. What are they going to do? I once said clutch or kick to someone, and he lost. So I did the kick vote, knowing people wouldn't actually vote him. But he thought I was serious and then tried to get me kicked the next round. <laughs> anyway, it's match point here to Dignitas. And look at this buy here from NIP. We have uh, a scout on Exist who won't get a connection just yet. And a uh, Famas on Forest, he does get oh. one tag there. I love that. I love that he decided he had money for one nade. He chose the HE. That's so smart. But it's going to be fetish to take him down. Exist had to go for the peak there. It's going to be another repeat potential here from Freiburg, who picked up, the, or actually had the scout as well. Or maybe just, I, know, I think he picked up Exist's scout. So I had to see if he's yeah, able to find anything. There's only one scout there. There can only be one scout. There can only be one scout. <laughs> Awkward pause. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in goes Dignitas. Again, one man advantage. They've got the Swedes outgunned. It's going to take an absolute miracle hit for NIP. In comes Freiburg. Going to get one player. There is a, a very low one by the tunnel, but it's going to be uh, all on Forest now, as uh, Fifth Lauren was unable to make much of that pistol attack. And then he comes, and it's it's surely to be. There it is. Dignitas, they are victorious, 16-9, to 9, and they continue the trend of victories over the Swedes. So Dignitas